Hey guys, um, just doing a quick test of the uh, uh, Lineage OS ROM um, version 15.1 running on my LG V20. Um, the problem I'm having right now is with Periscope, which is a live streaming app. Um, the camera works fine with the latest, latest update. Um, you do have to remove the status 7 error. Um, the ROM itself is awesome. It runs super fast. I don't know if... Can you guys see this? Um, I'm just doing a quick ROM update here. Let me see if I can actually see my own video. But, yeah, I'm thinking, um... The camera could be broke. Is it working? Uh, oh, boy. Let's see. What's up? What's up? Um, so is it working? Uh, uh, hello? Oh yeah, so it's working good. Okay, so that's what I want to fi find out, um, because I use this primarily for my live YouTube videos, the LG V20, because I love the, um, the wide angle. So I'm actually not running LG software on this right now. So we'll do a camera test. You can actually do, you can actually use all three cameras. So that's, that's the wide angle, and then there's the regular, and then up for the front. So using AOSP ROM, you're going to lose your second screen. I haven't really messed with overclocking yet. Uh, but the problem with LG software, especially the latest Nougat, it just lags. Like, it becomes a whole lag fest. For those of you who use the LG V20, for at least like a month you know that it lags after like a month literally like even typing becomes slow especially when you boot up your phone but if you install any kind of AOSP ROM like lineage OS all that goes away all that is from LG bugs you know that they didn't squash and they didn't really properly work on the software um, there must be some kind of memory leak Nexus 4 <laughs> sort of old phone um, yeah, so I'm actually thinking about moving to uh, version 14.1 because I'm having trouble with Periscope, which most likely mean you're going to have some trouble doing any kind of live if you do live with um, Instagram or Facebook. I mean, YouTube that works fine, but it's sort of, um, you know, I can't use all my apps. I use Periscope all, all the time on this phone. So. Um, so I may downgrade to, I may recommend if you want stability. I mean, if you don't do any live videos, then I, I think it'll be fine. I haven't tested the Bluetooth um, yet. If Bluetooth works, then it'd, it'd be it'd be pretty good. <laughs> You're on 4.4.2? On V20? No, V20 don't have a 4.4.2. Uh, if you're gonna buy the V20, make sure you get the model, the get, get the VS996, which is the model I have. And the greatest thing with this model is that you can use it on um, all AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. It's a hybrid phone, so it's a CDMA slash hybrid phone. By the way, this is my other channel. I'm going to start posting my some of my ROM updates like this because I know I flash a lot of ROMs. For example, I flash this, and you guys will never know about it because I'm, I'm actually flashing 10 different ROMs just to find one, one ROM. But I may do these updates because it's going to help out peop other people who are now trying to think, uh, should I flash uh, um, Lineage OS 15.1 on my LG V20? Well, like I said, everything pretty much works except for some of the video apps, so that's sort of a deal breaker for me, so I'm going to go back to Lineage uh, OS because the problem with Li Lineage OS 15.1 in general for all the Android phones is that the bugs, the main bugs they're trying to work out at the Lineage team you get it with every other phone. So if, let's say, I mean most other phones, let's say there's a, a Bluetooth audio call bug, then everybody else will be experiencing it, except for people who have phones that are very, very similar to uh, stock Android, which is like Google phones, you won't have problems like that. Um, OnePlus phones, you won't have problems like that. I'm not sure about other manufacturers, but... Um, yeah, so, so this ROM is pretty good. YouTube Live works, so I'm really happy about that. Everything works. Um, like I said, second screen doesn't work. Um, sometimes you get static, but you can, there's a game, um, get, way to get rid of this. 
re-upload this? No, I'm not gonna re-upload it. This is just gonna be... It's gonna be there. I'm not erasing this video or anything, but I'm... Just giving you my thoughts on Lineage 15.1 running on my V20, which I'm actually using right now, so... Uh, performance is very good. You're gonna not... See, that's that's another reason why I'm... You know, I was, I've been sticking with the LG UI. It's, it's been pretty good, just... There's just too much lag, and... You know, even with this older processor, it's... It shouldn't run that slow. <laughs> Best used phone, I would say LG V20 and Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge my, and Nexus 6P. I'll have a video on it. Um, maybe I'll have a new series of um, videos. What is the best old smartphone to buy? But those are all very easily rootable um, if you get the right model. And, you know, you can really make it fast using software. Um, great value. Not that expensive. Um, yeah, a lot of ROMs. Yeah, so, yeah, Lineage 15.1 seems pretty solid. Um, data's very good. I'm actually picking up 4G plus signals for Verizon. Well, the stock one only picked up 4G. I don't know if that's, um, misprint, but, um, OnePlus One still worth it? I don't know, man. I was using OnePlus 3T and that was slow to me already, so... I mean, it's still it's still a good phone. Just it's it is getting there. I'm your favorite. All right, thanks, ma'am. Um, but yeah, this is probably the last time I'm gonna actually run 15.1 on my V20 until they squash all the bugs. Until Lineage OS 15.1 is just not stable yet. You know that that's why they don't have official versions. It's always when the next version come out, you get the stable version. So right now, the stable version is really going with Nougat. So I may actually focus back on Nougat. Because performance difference between Nougat and Oreo is very minimal. But performance difference from like Lollipop to Nougat is huge. Like 20-30%. Um, so Nougat might be the sweet spot if you're going for AOSP ROMs for most manufacturers. Unless you have one, like I said, if you have one of the pure Google devices, like all the OnePlus, you can install the latest one. All the Pixel phones, you can run the latest, you can even run the latest P beta. But all the other phones that are not really made for it, such as LG V20, where the UI is different, then you will want to wait until there's a stable version. I mean, I'll, I can still make some videos for these things, but... If they're not stable and if I'm not gonna use it all the time, I don't I don't I don't feel like keep running it, you know. Is it worth to get the latest version of Android? So it depends on the phone you have. If you have a phone that like I said, like if you have a Pixel phone, Nexus phone, any of the Google phones, or if you have one plus phones, if you have a phone that's very similar to pure Android, you're not gonna you're not gonna have that much bugs. Everything's gonna work out of the box, such as Bluetooth calls and stuff like that. But it's when you get device like V20 or, or Samsung devices that are based, you know, their whole OS is different, then developers ha will have to wait, find a workaround or, you know, fix the bugs to get it working. DAC? Yeah, I think the DAC, DAC works just fine. The DAC is separate from the software. I mean, it's a hardware thing, so it's not going to affect it. You know, there's a lot of things, the software and hardware. Um, so, yeah, I don't think that part's affected. Not that I've, I've checked for it, but I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I gotta check if the quad deck, especially the advanced microphone recorder, is working the same. But um, I prefer, I, I prefer, I don't really care how fast something, I mean, I, I don't really care about the UI as, as long as it's fast. I'll use stock, I'll use uh, LG stuff, I'll use uh, whatever. Thoughts on the OnePlus 6? Well, yeah, I'm almost gonna do my review video, but yeah, it looks really good. Uh, really fast, um, especially with apps. I don't have zero problems. Like Periscope works great. You know, when you when you see that it's working great with all apps, it's also good news. And you know, performance is right on, very fast. Um, yeah, I keep repeating myself, but very fast, very fast. Uh, very good video capabilities. Slow motion. Um, I have I'll do a comparison, but I think I think I think it's actually slightly better than the S nine in terms of slow motion at ten eighty p. Hey, what's up, Grov? 
Should you buy over used one plus five? Um, definitely, because unless how much you how are you gonna pay for the one plus seven? Unless you you know if it's cheap enough. But you know, I went on eBay. I I looked at one plus five, one plus five T. They were at like five hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm like what? <laughs> They're at like the same price as one plus six. So, um, if you can get it for like a lot less, maybe like I don't know, four hundred T fifty, then I'd get a five or five T. But all of you X two blue pure XL E eight are all same phones. <laughs> yeah, those things are not going to have very good custom ROMs. Unfortunately, budget Android devices, um, I don't know. I haven't really seen, unless unless it, if Google does it, but if it's one of the cheaper devices, I would actually stay away from because you're just, you know, even the budget devices, you're actually overpaying. You're not, you're not getting a deal. You're getting, you're just paying less for shitty phone. <laughs> a lot of, like I said, a lot of the older phones um that might be better especially if you look at the, the price and the specs if the older phone's better then i might you know a lot of the older phones you can also buy them brand new so i don't know man it depends on the phone but 350 yeah that'd be not a bad deal but yeah i think from the five was it from the five to five t you get a 16 by 9 to 6 18 by 9 so it's completely different like the biggest difference between 5T and 6 is like just just way less bezels, you know, you can sort of notice it, you know, if you care about that kind of stuff, then, you know, the notch kind of sucks, but anyway, I'm going to end it here, um, just a quick review, like I said, if you guys want to flash 15.1 on V20, I don't recommend it yet, <laughs> there may be more bugs, uh, I've I'll probably do a video actually on Nougat, just because I want I want people to have a like a solid stable experience. I don't want people installing a custom ROM to be like, oh man, I got Oreo, but my Bluetooth calls are not working. You know, so I might stop. I might stop doing stable videos. Make sure everything's stable. Display broke. I don't know if you can get a five display for hella cheap. Then you could just you can really easily replace it. Let me see if I can do a video on that. One plus five, right? I don't have a five, but five T is pretty much the same, I think. Is it the same? Because you know the lineage ROMs, they make this is how the lineage ROM works. Every time lineage, the team that actually makes lineage, regardless of the phone, they update the main code to you know let's say fix these other two bugs. All right, and then everybody else with different, all the developers for different phones, they'll take that main code and adapt it to these different phones. But if the main lineage code has the same bugs, then you're going to get the same bugs. So it might be better to just wait around until, you know, there's a stable version. Right now, your speed sweet spot is actually Nougat. AOSP Nougat will run just as fast as most Oreo, probably faster and way more stable maybe everything working out of the box because it's been a longer development period and you'll get stable versions instead of these unofficial or um you you know the, the worst thing on xda is you go there and you're like you're like all right wi-fi working 4g lte uh, blah 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 and then anything broken <laughs> i'll say you tell me <laughs> you're like all right, but those are actually the good ones. Those are actually the ones with like the least bugs or no bugs. You know, you want to find one with. You tell me. <laughs> oh yeah. Best Android phone. Um. Maybe a S nine or S nine plus. Am I going to India? No, I don't think I'll have time this summer. I'm gonna be too busy because I got I gotta write a book. I gotta do this and fucking I gotta revamp. I gotta change the world out there, you know, with, with the bombs. I gotta make sure every every kid on in America and in India and you know Africa, Europe, everybody is flashing ROMs. <laughs> um, come to London? I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't really like traveling that much. My Indonesian. No, no. I'm a third Mexican, a third Spanish, and third uh, Korean. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. Sorry, I made it wrong, but I'll do more of these um, live updates of different ROMs. If you guys enjoy it, do do let me know because there's a lot of ROMs I flash, and maybe this feedback does help for those of you installing. And it's gonna be sort of a new series on my other. This is my other channel, by the way. It's my high on Android channel because, you know, sort of, um, sort of not too serious. Just, just uh. You know, because I'm installing these ROMs anyway, so I might as well make videos. But I don't want to make a full video. But if I can give, give you some thoughts what's working and what's not, <laughs> it, it'll be helpful. A 7 screen. Yeah, I, I'm going to actually replace a uh, screen replacement for my... I have two S7 edges with broken screen. I haven't, I haven't done this. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing a bunch of it. This is my second channel. This is the high on Android channel, but my main channel is at Max Lee. But this is gonna be where I post all my like you know stuff that you don't see. Um, yeah, there you go, behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, let me go flash the fourteen point one, and I'll do a periscope test if you guys are following me on Twitter. Join join there in a little bit. <laughs> but this ROM's pissing me off because I I can't do periscope, so I'm gonna have to change. All right, man. Um, other 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 devices will get through them. All right, join me at the forum forum.high on Android. That's where I'm going to be posting all my you know stuff.